The way it works is very simple. What you're going to do, we're going to present you with a lineup of five men. Four of them are sporting their own luscious locks. Okay. One of them is wearing a wig. Using your expertise, you must guess who is wearing a wig. Okay. It's a complex game. Yeah. <laughs> Very. Do you need me to go through the rules again, or you think you've got it? Okay, so do we choose at once? I mean, how do we reveal who You we can ask them questions. <laughs> yeah. And then we will get to the reveal later. Does this sound good? Yes. yes. Let's bring out the lineup. <laughs> Okay, so feel free to ask any questions to them that you like. You can ask them any questions to find <laughs> out whether you think they're wearing a wig. What do we think? What's your first thought, Rue? My first thought is number five. Yeah. Uh, who won the 1969 World Series? <laughs> <laughs> Was that Miracle Mets? That's right. <laughs> really? How does that? How do you? How does it's that work? Out he's you'll wearing a wig. You'll on see how where I'm going really? with this. This yeah. game isn't really fair because Rue is a wig expert. That is true. I'm just here to listen and learn. Okay, but you're no stranger to wigs. I'm not a stranger to wigs. Okay. That's correct. Right. What's crazy about this is only one of them is wearing a wig. <laughs> <laughs> when frankly, four of them look like they're wearing wigs. <laughs> Let's be honest. Mm. I mean. <laughs> Number one looks like he's halfway through a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> number three, number three looks like Kiss without the makeup. <laughs> number five looks like he does medieval conventions on a weekend. <laughs> <laughs> number four looks like a, like he used to impersonate Orlando Bloom in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Grown but up doesn't Draco anymore. Malfoy. Yeah, Dr yeah, like Draco Malfoy's dad. <laughs> um, what are our thoughts, Rachel? What do you think? Oh man, you know, this is harder than I thought it was going to really? be. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Number four. Hmm. When was the last time you cut your hair? Good question. Well, I just go for trim ups, split ends, and stuff breaks off. So about every six months, but it's been long my whole life. He knows, that's real. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number two, do you know what Afrosheen is? No. You don't? Okay. All right. That's a very good clue right there. Okay. Uh, number three, what was the first uh, unit of music you bought at 13 years old? <laughs> Steve Miller Band. What song? Pegasus. Okay. The album. I mean, Rue, you are taking this in a direction that no one could have ever imagined. It's, it's very informative. It really lets me know what their um, intellectual DNA is. Sure. Uh, you know, yeah. I'm yeah. going to say this. If number two is a wig, number two should grow that hairstyle because it looks absolutely phenomenal. Okay. I absolutely yeah. love it. Yeah. Number one, I <sighs> cannot say the same. <laughs> um, Number one, I've got a question. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> no complaints, really. <laughs> Zero complaints. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Oh. <laughs> really? You know what I want to do, number one? I want me and you to go for a slap up dinner and just figure this whole thing out. <laughs> <That's how fun. laughs> number five yeah. looks like he knows where to buy drugs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying he takes drugs. Uh -huh. I'm not saying he takes drugs, <laughs> but he knows where you can buy some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have a question. So, um, number four. Yes. Do the carpets and the drapes, were they, did they come from Sears? <laughs> At one time, they came from the same store. Now they don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Yeah. Rachel? I'm sorry, were you just talking about his pubes? No. <laughs> no. Just the carpet and the drapes. But isn't that... I thought you meant the carpet and the... No? Yeah, it's a family show. I, I wanted to keep it's, it It's on at 12.35. <laughs> we can talk about pubes. All right. This is the clip they'll show at the Emmys room. Um, OK, it's time to decide who... Do you think it's wearing a wig? I'm going to come to you first, Rachel. Who do you think it is? I'm going to go with number one, and I wish you a better wig in your future. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> gone with number one. Rue, who do you think it is? James, I think that you, sir, are wearing a wig. <laughs> 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 who do you think? What do you okay. think, Rue? Who do you think it is? Okay, I know who it is because. On, who do you think? Okay, the one who's wearing a wig is. I, I can explain why, but I won't. I'll just say the number. Um, it's number four is wearing a wig. Okay, so. No. Uh, now, what I want you to do, you've both chosen your person. Yeah. So I want you to go over and stand behind uh -huh. the person that you have <laughs> chosen on a count of three. You will grab that person's yeah. hair or wig and remove the wig. Okay. Okay, so Rachel go to number one. Oh, no. Rue go to number four. Oh, Here we go. No. I'm so okay. sorry. Okay. Right. Here we go. Can we get a drum roll, please, Guillermo? One, two, three. Remove the wig.